Hello everybody and welcome to Skyrim Special Edition. Over the last week or two, I've been working on a mod pack. Not really a mod pack, more of a mod list. Um, centered around the Legacy of the Dragonborn mod. Which basically adds a huge museum to Solitude. With the museum, it's basically like a player home. What you can do is you can take the items that you find, any like special items, and you can put them in the museum to display them. And that mod, what's really cool about that mod is that it works with other content mods. So you can take a special item from any of the patchable mods and put them up for display in the museum. And there are a load of uh, supported mods, either officially or unofficially. But I tried to download as many as possible. So this is a this is this is kind of a huge mod list, but mostly with content mods. When it comes to everything else, it's kind of vanilla esque. My goal with this series, which I probably won't <laughs> complete, but I can try, is to completely get, completely fill the museum and get every possible displayable item from all of the mods and just everything I can unlock for the museum. Now, as you can see, I'm, I haven't started the game yet. I am this character, pretty boring. My goal with him is just to, I don't know, do whatever I feel like playing as at the time. Do some magic, some two-handed stuff, I don't know. But where I'm going to start is child, and choose where your new life I'm going begin. to arrive on board a ship. City did you sail to? And I'm going to arrive at Solitude. A life filled with what that'll do is it'll power. start me off as a relic hunter for the museum. If I just did a vanilla start, it would, or any other start for that matter, I would have to first go to Solitude, and then the museum's caretaker or whatever will be like, go collect three items, and then I'll have to like travel across the entire map, and then come back, and it'll just be like a pain. So instead, I'm just going to, instead I'm just going to start as the museum keeper, and we're going to go from there. Now, I do have one rule, and that rule is that I, I will not be using fast travel at all. I won't even use the caravans. This is so that I can, um, this is so that I will be incentivized to just travel around the map and uh, use whatever options are available to me. Now, here's the first new mod. It's called Winter Sun, I think. So it's basically a religion mod. Let's see. Following these religions will give you special perks or whatever. These, I don't want any of these ones, though, I don't think. There's one that I do want later on. Here I am. As you can see, I do have a few graphic mods. Wow. It actually looks really good. <laughs> I would do... I would have done more, but... My computer cannot take it. <laughs> it cannot take that. Like, this is already sometimes a little bit laggy. Okay, so... As a Relic Hunter... I start with... Some special stuff... Well, not really special, but I already have museum displays available here. This is the icon that it shows you when you can put something in your museum. And as you can see, like so much is available. Like you can put these random iron weapons in there. We got a garnet that we can put in there. Um... 
Yeah. As for mods that add displays, I've got like unofficially supported stuff, which means that uh, the Legacy of the Dragonborn mod team hasn't like didn't make it, basically. Somebody else did and put it in the game. Here's cheese mod for everyone, which adds like 300 different cheeses. I think this is a 3D NPCs thing. Um, we've got uh, bad gremlins collection mods with the uh, fairies. Not sure if this, I think this one's supposed to be like this. But it's just kind of laying down. Either way, we're going to. Yes. Let's go on the ship. Because there is some stuff up here. Quick save. Okay. This is going to require a lot of thievery. I am actually uh, trespassing right now, but they won't get mad at me unless I talk to them, which is a little bit weird, but it works. Book I can display. More cheese. Always important. A mace and a war axe. Interesting. Okay, leave. Okay, um, there's a special sword in this display case here. Nice, we got the red wave. 17 damage, which is already pretty good. Um, gross, moldy looking cheese. Okay, fine. As you wish. Ooh. Seven doubloons. Shield. I think I will eventually need ruined books, but... Eh, I'll go and take them. Oh, I am playing on Adept, by the way. And I also have a lot of new perks. This is a combination of it's a mod called Path to Ordinance, which is a combination of two perk mods. One is Ordinator, and the other is the other one is Path to Sorcery. So, yeah, I loved I love uh, Path to Sorcery, but it took a long time for me to find a mod that kind of combines them. Because at first I just Combine them kind of manually. That didn't work all too well. I hope it's not too dark. I'll eventually get a... Ooh. I will eventually get a... Spell. for light. Because I could use a torch. But it doesn't do very much, as you can see. I 
Okay, I guess I should start pickpocketing people. Yeah, these people have a lot of stuff on them. This is going to take a while. Nice, got it. Literal gambling god. Are there minotaurs? I've seen that before, but I haven't seen any minotaurs. Which is a little bit disappointing. Nice, there we go. I don't know why you're just standing there, but I will take advantage of it. Boom, bada bing. And I'm out of here. Might be wise to go to Riften pretty early on. Just so I can sell some of the shit I steal. Because I'm going to be stealing a lot. Dark ship. Let's see what Catla has to offer us. Take this gemstone. Says we have to be polite to give. Oh, hello. Have a seat, will you? Cheese. Mama said I could help with the goats. Good for you, kid. I was a much younger man when I married Catla. I've Are you playing hide and seek? Painting. These paintings I can display in the museum as well. I can just shove them up on a wall. More cheese. Sadly, not all of the displays have um, an indicator. Like, these cheese wheels I can display, but they don't have... They don't have those. Oop. First Easter egg. Red marble. Cute. Random weapons I can steal. A blue emerald skull. Easy yoink. Almost lifelike. You are poor. It's about the stables. My husband gave really don't mean to be rude, but I don't think there's much I can help you with. Ooh. Usually when you do the relic hunter start, you start with an enchanted ring or like jewelry. I don't think I did this time though. Maybe I just got unlucky. Finally. Nice. Blue cheese. Gross. I mean, I don't know. Blue cheese is okay, but <laughs> I don't think that's blue cheese. Sliced blue cheese. Oh, sorry. That's that was jazz bay cheese. Apparently, this is blue cheese. Hmm. 
<laughs> Shit. I do not need or calcum. I considered it for a good second though. I've been looking for you. Ooh. Got something I got mail. Looks like that's it. Okay, so this is a This is a unofficial patch. Not well, not really patch, but an unofficial add-on for Dragon the Legacy of the Dragonborn mod. Essentially, this is like a whole nother section of the museum that I can unlock. And down there it has the displays for like the eggs that like the egg that I just got. Orbs. A bunch of weird shit. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and head to the museum. Probably give you a quick tour. I'm just gonna manually display all this stuff so that you can kind of see. Get just a quick impression of the museum and all it has to offer. Some of what it has to offer, I should say. It is massive. You can already see it up there. Also, I have a lot of mods to help out with the collection process. As you can see, I have Books of Skyrim. Which, you know, that's a bookstore. It is raining lately. Here we are. Home sweet home. Ah, good day, my friend. I'm glad you're here. I trust things fare well. Excellent. Well, let me give you the ten septum tour then. This building was once called Macnarian. Okay, so this guy dedicated to Talos. He kind of gives you the rundown. After the white gold a quick tour. But uh I'm not really going to listen to him. I came here a few years ago. Although, I must say that he is one of the here, I'll head up here. <laughs> he is one of the best voice acted Skyrim NPCs I think I've I've seen. It's he's he's pretty impressive, but uh First, I'm going to display these paintings, which are down here in the entrance. See? Two displays already. I can't wait to get into this. Like, check this out. Displays for all of the claws and all of the uh, dragon masks. I guess I should have let you actually see the paintings, right? <laughs> like... I place them down and just run away as fast as I could. I'm not listening to you, by the way, buddy. Okay, so I have stuff for the East Exhibit Halls. Very nice looking place. With the some of the graphics mods I have. These stands here, they are for player houses. So as I unlock them, the planter boxes will go away and they will be placed with replaced with little miniature houses, which is pretty cool. But it's going to be a while before I have enough money for any any houses. Okay, first I have the dark ship in a jar. Now this is where you can really see the potential, right? You go in here, you place down your artifacts, and you can just look at them. My hopes for this series is that, you know, a year down the line, I'll still be making this series. And I will walk through here, and I'll just be like, oh yeah, there's the uh, fucking horn I got on episode 45. 
because there are so many adventures to be had here. He's going to give me the key to the safe house, which is cool. Um, let's get to the library. Sometimes it's a bit hard to find where to display something, especially with, like, books. Because there are just so many bookshelves. So if, when it comes to books, I'm probably just going to place them automatically. But for a lot of things, I kind of just want to actually look around for the thing to place it. Oh, just a book on the floor. Okay, so one of... <clears throat> two of the mods I have actually adds secrets to the museum. Like, you can find... Uh, displayable objects lying around, such as this orb. One of many orbs around the, uh, there are three, I think. So far, I've found two of them. One is there, and the second one, I believe, is down here. Orb of Surprise. I can't remember if I... I think I did find... Oh, I remember where the third one is. The third one is down over here. Down here. Straight ahead to the armory. It is in here. The Orb of Dragon Scale. There are also supposedly eggs. Easter eggs hidden around. Four of them. But I haven't found any. I found all of the orbs, but not a single egg. Which is a skill issue, I guess. That's what the cool kids say, at least. Okay... That'll take a second to load in. There we go. We can see the hunting bow. The steel sword. Some of the iron stuff that I got. As we go along, this will just fill up. Before we move on, actually, I'm going to show you... Oop. I'm going to show you a little secret thing. Oop. Nope, that's not it. Red wave. If we go... It's gonna be like a little time trial thing. There's a button here. If we press the button, it'll give us a time trial. So we're gonna do that really fast here. Go into the dining room. Button there. Go back down to the armory. Button there. And then we go back to the dining room. Over here. This little thing will open up. And it will give us the... Stalrum Spoon of Assassination. Which is a reference to the... I guess, creator of the mod, uh, who is Ice Cream Assassin, that's what he's known as, just up here. Nice place. A fairy 12. And he will actually get out of the uh, lantern and 
he will be somewhere in here. Oh, yep, there he is, over there. I can also build these, but I don't have the required stuff. What I do have, though, there we go, three gems, nice. Oh, weird. That looks kind of cool, actually. I don't know what's causing that. Hmm? See? Fixed. Like, it was never even there. That works for me. Dragonborn Hall, more displays, but also this room has a lot of, so you know these blank walls, these are actually tied to quests. So if you complete certain quest lines, um, these blank walls will start filling up with actual stuff. Even some modded quests. But there's also... A secret little... Hall of Secrets down here. Punch these cobwebs. That's funny. So this area, um, I can have renovated to be an actual display area instead of just an empty space. And it'll display, like, Thieves Guild stuff, the, uh, Assassin's Brotherhood stuff. You know, we, we don't really want the public seeing that. ESO sh Sky Shards I have here. They're just around the map, just like ESO. Good day. Oh, the Hall of Secrets. I had all but forgotten about it, to be honest. When we broke ground on the foundation of the museum expansion, we accidentally broke through into a sealed-off chamber that was built under the Pelagius Wing of the Blue Palace. When I asked them about it, it apparently used to be some sort of panic room for Pelagius when he was in one of his more violent manic episodes. They sealed it off long before the rest of the wing and forgot all about it. I asked for permission to use the room as a bit of a secret storage vault in case solitude was ever invaded. I would store the relics there and lock down the museum. They gave permission and I had the tunnel finished and access in the hall made. Hmm, certainly. I suppose if you are ever in need of a place to store items of a more mm, questionable nature, that room would be ideal. I'll go ahead and outfit it for you, but I'll and I won't plan on taking okay, any tours nice. down there either. <laughs> so tomorrow I can go back down there, check it out. Okay, okay. Um, is there anything else? Of course there is. The Hall of the Forgotten, which is a unofficial area I can use that uh, magic crystal that I got from that uh, mailman earlier and go in here the hall of the forgotten is 
very impressive. Like, it is really crazy just how much is here. Spaces for paintings. There's whole new sections of the museum for the Relics of Hyrule mod and the Ruma mod. Right now, we just need to go to the Hall of Forgotten Collections. Because we need to place down our orbs. And... Egg. My favorite. Oh, oh here's egg. Uh, we have the red marble egg. There we go. Check that out. That's going to be so cool when we come back here later. Um... Globes. Here we go. The orbs. That's all we really have right now, I think. Okay, so I think the only thing left to see is the safe house. Here we are. Home sweet home. We've got some fate cards on the table. If we find... So each one of these belongs to a different set. Or a different deck. When we get all 12, we can get the deck itself. Which will give us a buff. Or in our case, we can put it in the... Uh, museum. So it's good to always collect those. Got a kitchen over here. Okay, let me just put in my cheeses. Nice. Check those out. We have a crafting room. All sorts of stuff. Nope, I don't wanna. Okay. Storage room. doll collection which they recently updated I think because <laughs> there were probably like a quarter of this many dolls originally but now there are like a hundred and we have the boring regular doll basically the solitude general store will have little papers that you can buy and when you buy them, these rooms will fill up with stuff. So I'll be putting two follower rooms in those two places. Here's my room. Nice skylight. Bathtub with soap display. Cape storage. I don't think I have any capes right now, but... And finally... Most amazing of all... The treasury. Which I can actually... Place gold into. And it will show up.
And I think you can store up to like 2 million gold in here or something. A couple million. But <laughs> I'm kind of poor right now. In total, I think that there are around... Definitely more than 3,000 displays. Because I'm using... That was the... Um, estimate that was given on the mod page for Legacy of the Dragonborn with official patches, but I have unofficial patches, so I should have even more than that. So yeah, let's see how many we've collected today, and then I'll probably call that or that. Looks like we have a total of 35 displays. And that is... <laughs> that is going from here to here. 35 displays. Not even collecting anything in solitude. Hopefully now you can see how insane that is. Before we go, I guess I'll wait until... Orion has the room ready for us. And I really don't know where these eggs are. One has to be in the... Because th there are four. And I haven't found a single one. I'm guessing that one is in the Hall of Secrets. Another one is probably in the... In the, uh, Companions Guild, which we will get to later. That's a whole nother thing with this mod. There is also the possibility that I am just blind. <laughs> ah. fin finally. Nice. Little robotic egg. I wonder where the other ones are then. Gotta be one in the secret chamber. Wow. Nice place. Now, if I was an egg, where would I be? There's another one. The Egg of Death. Ooh, that looks cool. 